second reason. What the Dal did was to replace sacred time and he gave us in its place secular time. In Allah's creation, a month is comprised of either 29 or 30 days. And we cannot tell whether it will be 29 or 30 until the 29th day has ended. This has been this has been done with great wisdom by Allah Ta'ala. Great wisdom. That you cannot tell in advance whether a month will have 29 or 30 days. Why? Because Dajjal wants to establish a universal order, a world order, in which all of mankind will be interconnected and everything will operate like clockwork. And so he needs, for example, for the financial system, for the banking system, he needs to have a system of time which can be universalized. And the system of time which came from Allah cannot be universalized. So what did he do? He created a new system of time, a secular system of time, in which our prophet said, the man can have either 29 or 30 days. Do I have to remind Pakistan of that? That your Nabi, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, he said, and you have forgotten, that the man can have either 29 or 30 days. And Dajjal says, no. And Pakistan accepts what Dajjal has said. No, Dajjal said the man can have 28 days. Dajjal says the man can have 29 or 30. And Dajjal says the man can have 21 days. And all the Pakistanis have accepted what Dajjal have said. And they eat the biryani and they go home and sleep. <laughs> yes, you have embrace secular time. And the price that you're now paying is the time is moving faster and faster. That you might count the years and you might be able to compute time, the passage of time. And in that system of time which Allah has given, which we call sacred time, lunar time, there is the possibility that a month can have 29 days or it can have 30 days. And so it is not a precise system of time, precise, which can be universally applicable. It is universally applicable. A one universal system of time for all of mankind. No, you cannot have that. And the month begins when you see the moon in the sky above your head. And we will not all see the moon at the same time. So you don't need more than an elementary school education to understand that you will not have the beginning of Ramadan for everybody on the same day and you will not have Eid for everybody on the same day and you do not have more wisdom than the Lord God. I have explained in the past why Allah has given us this system of time in order to, to, to block the child who wants to establish a uni, universal global society with one universal system of time and he's succeeding because we no longer follow the sacred time. We no longer follow lunar time. We don't follow solar time. We're following the child's secular time in which a month can have 28 days and a month can have 31 days. And so today